So guys, today back for another video on the channel today. Today we're going to be talking about the tactics from Steve Bruce for the first two Premier League games and personally I think it needs to be changed so in this video, it's just going to be a short video and me explaining what I think needs to be changed in the squad for the upcoming game against uh, Tottenham on Sunday. So I think this will make the team better, in my opinion. I think five at the back isn't working there. Five, three, two, and I go over most of the players that aren't working in this formation so far this season. Yes, it's only been two games, but I feel like I've got to make this video because we're not going to get anywhere using this formation, in my opinion. So I think when you go to a 4-3-3, three, three, it's pretty obvious that Bruce likes three in the midfield, which I do like Longstaff, Shelby and Hayden. I think that they're probably one of our best players at the minute on form. But if you go from the five at the back, Devab Garfsey says in goal, right wing back was Kraft. For me, Kraft isn't a right wing back, he's a right back. And that's what it said on the, uh, his description. It was like he's been playing in a flat back four and he doesn't go up as much. And then say if left back, that can put Dummett left back. And I think Dummett is more, for me, suited more at left back. I think Sly tackling, he reads his men really good on that left hand side. I think Dummett needs to go to left back. And that means Richie will be a substitute. Yeah, Richie will be a uh, a hard miss because he works hard, but you, you've got to do what's best for the side. If You could even put Richie left back. But the three centre midfield, that's it's pretty obvious. Even if we went to a 5 2 3, I st it's not as bad, but I would personally rather have a 4 3 3, like what Leicester were doing. Leicester look really good against Chelsea and against Wolves. That's the formation they're using. I don't want to see five at the back anymore, to be honest, because of our attack, right? For when we play five at the back, we've got Jolinton and Almoron as strikers. Almoron, Shiva said that match today, Almoron is around 10 15 yards away from Jolinton every single time. And I've watched back the Norwich highlights, I've watched back all the game, and I've had to reflect off that. And I thought Jolinton was bad, he was terrible in the game, but not as bad as I maybe said. Yes, he didn't have the greatest game, but you can't do much when you've got no support around you. Which I think by going at a 4 3 3, it will give him support on the wing and in the middle because that can lead one midfielder to push up a little bit and then the other two sides. I'm guessing that would be Shelby. Shelby gets up the field, right? And then that leaves you Hayden and Longstaff. Longstaff stays around in the middle, getting them scratchy balls, and Hayden sits back into a CDM position. That's what I want to see. That's what is what I want to see. But when you see on Saturday, Isaac Hayden playing right wing. He was literally running down the wing. Like, what's Bruce? What, what's Bruce said to Hayden to make that a good decision? Why should Hayden be running down the right wing? Like, what? He's a centre midfielder. CDM. Like, what's he doing on the wing, lad? <laughs> but that means if we go to a four-three-three, it's pretty obvious. Alan Saint Maximin would come in, and I think. He's going to be our number one player this season. I think he's so good on the ball. He's too good to not start. He has to start every game for Newcastle. Yes, he's had a slight injury, but it looks like him and Jolinton will both be fit for the game versus Spurs. Obviously, this isn't a preview or anything. This is just me giving out what I've just seen so far. You obviously will see all the predicted team and whatnot uh, later on in the week, but... That's my that's my force, and then obviously that means you could push Almoron on the left hand side, but it still means that he can push in into the middle, and do his thing in the middle and on the left because he does do well on the wing. He's got the pace to do that stuff on the wing. He's probably a bit faster than Maximin. Maximin's got got more technical skill, you could say. So that's my thoughts. Uh, let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Obviously, Bruce is on, under a lot of pressure now, which. I think he expected, but the best way to shut the haters up was to get a win on Saturday, and the performance was shocking. Right, leave a like in the video, subscribe to the channel, follow my stuff in the description, and I'll see you all uh, for the videos coming soon in the week. Thanks for watching, I'll see you all uh, later, lads.